Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I am going to be giving you a quick run through on how to turn the cheap eBay Chinese rotary positioner for welding into something useful. Because the motor that is fitted with standard straight out of the box is just way too fast. Comes with this 210 RPM motor. Garbage, get rid of it. Can't weld anything with it, it's way too fast. So this will just be a quick run through of how to swap out the motor. Let's make this welding fixture usable. Mine, I've just made up a little stand and then I welded a little plate that I've just got clamped. I need to sort this out, I need to make it. This was just quick, so I had a, a project that I was working on. I needed something to happen fast. And then with my 3D printer, I designed and printed this nice little locking system with the quick release clamps. So you can lock it in and out, you can move it up and down. It's got a bit of give, so that way you can move it out the way. Just loosen that off, we can adjust the height. Put the clamp back down and then obviously you can rest your hand as you're welding which is good let's just move that out of the way and then with this this is also height adjustable i've just drilled and tapped some bit of bar i need to swap these for wing nuts i just haven't got any um yeah just undo that and i can if i want to stand up and weld and take this up higher i can do and i can be up here rather than down here because i do suffer with my arms going numb and a bit of a bad back sometimes so get comfortable and then uh, I explain later on in the video that this has been swapped out this is just a chuck out off a lathe and I have just fitted it uh, it's got little grooves in this that you can fit different sized bits to and they line up with this I think I had to just widen them out a little bit with a die grinder to get them to fit but it was minor so that's that fitted I think this was about 60 pound I will put links in the description for all of it for the rotary table and and this chuck, you can do everything with this now and it's perfect. It's a lot cheaper than some of the digital stuff that you can buy online. So if you're after some entry, just starting out, don't know if you want one or not. Honestly, get yourself one, it's a game changer. So this welding positioner comes with a plug for power and then it's got a quick little knockoff stop and a twist. So this is the 40 RPM at its max speed. You won't be welding anything that fast and then turn it right down you'll have nothing obviously it's pedaled control because you can be next to your pedal on the floor and then you've just got to work your way up a little bit until you hit the right voltage that it's after and it'll go just work it little by little right so that is about the slowest speed that we can get out of this motor and i can tell you now that is too fast can maybe get a little bit more you just got to tweak it ever so slightly go down there we go, we've got a little bit less, but it's very infrequent. It'll, you'll get a nice slow speed and then you'll be tapping this and it'll do nothing. And then you'll have to play with this and then still nothing. I've just turned the knob a tiny little bit. There we go, we're on. But, and then eventually it'll just stop for some reason because it's too, the, the voltage is too low for this. So whatever it's trying to output there, it doesn't, it doesn't agree with the motor that's inside. It's just not slow enough. So. We'll take this apart and I'll video myself taking this apart so you can see what I've done. For if you wanted to swap out this, which I would advise, because why not? The one that it comes with actually is this thing here. Tiny. You're going to do nothing with that. I'll rip this apart quickly, throw in that other motor and see where we're up to. And I'll do a demonstration of me welding something up. I'll try and keep everything in frame as much as possible and my arms out the way so you can see what you need to see. So we'll just start by whipping off this chuck this lathe chuck on the top here it's like i say because this wasn't made for this i don't know if you can see we'll zoom in a little bit as you can see now we've got it tilted over i've had to notch out for the bolts on this we can move it forward and back to align these bolts up so i can remove the chuck so i'll just get an allen key through the slot that i've made here just going to take these screws out there's only three so I couldn't find a better place to remove this bolt to be honest so this was the best place for this this little slot to get these bolts in and out you might find a better solution but this is the one that I came up with so well, it's it's top of this there are four three bolts at the top but 
I lost the screw and I've not managed to replace it. But I'm not that bothered. Once that's removed, that top plate will just pop off. Then once you've got that top plate removed, just inside are a couple of Allen keys. Whip them off, take the, the motor out and then swap the gear onto the new one and then repeat the process backwards. So I'll just whip that out, show you how to take the gear off and then put the new motor in, we'll see, see what sort of speeds we're getting. So the, uh, the gear is very tight, but the sprocket, but it does go through the hole. Just have to work it through. It is very tight, but it does work and it does come out. So that is the motor now removed. I'll just remove the cable. So at the back of the machine here, I've got the cables stripped, ready for the new motor to be fitted. This is the original motor that came with it. Like I said, this is a 210 RPM. No good. This one was a 40 RPM, like I said, still no good, still too fast. Just put the uh, the gear off there. We're going to be swapping it out for this 15 RPM motor there. And hopefully this does the trick. Whilst that's still warm, I'll just try pressing this in. So I think the last one just slid on nicely. Yeah, there we go. Once it cools down, it'll be an, a nice tighter fit. So with the power disconnected, you've got your positive, which is the blue terminal here, and the negative, which is the brown. It is labelled on here, I don't know if you can see. I'm hoping it'll focus. Hello. Yeah, there we go, you can see. We've got a positive and a negative. It's got a flat edge on that anyway. I'm just going to heat shrink these. Slide my heat shrink over. I'm not going to solder these because I might have to take them off again. If this isn't slow enough, but we'll see. I'm hoping it is. So that's the new motor all installed. We'll just check that it's turning, which it is. That's it's, so it's fastest that now. So we can get right down there now. That, oh, that's perfect. Yeah, it's going to be good that. This is the machine at its maximum setting, the maximum speed. And now we can set, dial it right down. Let's get it to its one of its slowest. Oh, that's so much better. There's a couple of clips of me spinning some welds on that cheap Chinese positioner. As you can tell, so much better, night and day. So if you want to up your welding, it's not cheating. It requires a lot of practice. It's not as easy as it looks. And hats off to people that can do it as well as they can. Just 
honestly, stick at it, stick at this and get your weld consistent because consistency is honestly key with welding and that's what people want to see is good consistency. Don't want to see loads of warping and horrible and dips and divots in places that you don't want to see. Up your welding game, get yourself comfortable. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a like, it helps a lot. Comment. In the next video, I will be showing you how to make an exhaust pipe expander. I'll throw a little clip in right at the end out of my friend Dan's video that he made when I made his exhaust. And yeah, kind of got a nice little video of me using the kit that I've made up out of the parts. So I'm going to talk you through it, where to buy the bits from. And yeah, that's the next video I'm going to be putting out. So make sure you look out for that one. Please like, comment and subscribe if you don't already. Peace.